Sir Fat Shady from the University of Trials. We are loading the game with some pretty nice looking graphics. I've got to say, I quite like this this snowy kind of effect. It works. I like it. We back. We back. We playing some trials. That's it. That's all I prepared. That was my prepared speech. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, who's here? Anyone here want to tell me what to play yet? Uh, I usually just start with an extreme. Like an easy-ish extreme and see what happens. Let's see where the evening takes us. I know where it's taken me. Firstly, Beverage. I really like my U, my new um, outfit. I really like that. This weird line thing. Oh, it's So answer me this. Anyone put on, like, customized their rider and then felt like they rode better because of it? Like, I know it's just that whole psychological thing, like, you know, you put on a new pair of shoes and you feel like you can run faster, but there's some science to it, I'm sure. Bam, notion, lemon, lemon, sledge, or lemon's ledge. I feel like I want to call you Lemon... Lemon Sledge? You are not prepared. Come on, Lemon Sledge. Yeah, that's... Now, I'm, I'm hoping that's the incorrect way because that's kind of on brand for me. And a sledge is like an insult. Like that's... that's is that a, is that a globally understood thing? Kinku, good to have you here. Bonus internet points if you know who Kinku is in the chat. Rider looking damn good. My 49ers are looking damn good. This is going to become a 49ers stream. And if, if, if everybody here like doesn't have an NFL team to go for, or even care, just, just go for the 49ers. That's all I'm asking. Lemon Pledge. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Jay, welcome to the University of Trials. Is that what I say when people join? I think it is. Um, yeah, Jay, a new student. Um, interestingly, I'm not. I'm not. I don't often pay attention to, and it's not true. Like if you go back and look through Twitter, you know, like most sort of content creators and stuff, you're constantly watching metrics and analytics and data and numbers and all that nonsense. But I don't know. So sometimes I care, and then other times I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, but I actually looked for the first time in ages today how many followers I have on Twitch. I hadn't looked for months, and I think it's 48, and then now with Jay, it's 47 away from 3,000, which is kind of cool. Milestones are, are fun. Round numbers are easy to articulate. So, Jay, thank you for bringing me one person closer. If you, if you know... If you happen to know 47 people, or even better, if you happen to have 47 alternate accounts, feel free to follow me. <laughs> like, that's the ideal, right? I mean, you know, I'm not asking for much, but if, but if, but if everybody Fantastic. could just create 10 alternates, that'd be sweet. Hey! Gaming DJ, congratulations on the graduation. You deserve a hat spin, and you deserve nine hat spins. Would you while at the gym? I mean, wow. <laughs> I don't know if watching Twitch is part of the, uh, whatever. I don't know what you do at gyms. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think the hat's still... This hat... So I have said, if the 49ers win the Super Bowl, there's two things that are going to happen. One is, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to make a custom 49ers one of these. And the other thing is that I've already promised a good mate of mine that I'm going to get a 49ers tattoo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For Mr. Gaming DJ, congrats, dude. Enjoy the gym. What are you doing? Are you skipping leg, leg day? It's the only gym joke I know. Kick 
Inku, associate professor. It's late, man. Oh, all right, ham. You know what? I would rather everybody just go. Ham is using my celebrity status, and I love it. I think if I do that, yeah. Go and give him a follow. Yeah, Notion, I was joking. I, I realized I said celebrity status like that and then didn't follow it up with like a weird giggle. So I'm like, do people... I, I really go out of my way to try and not have any ego at all about the... I mean, like, it's weird. It's like... I've, I, I've had, you know, a level of success, which I should be... I'm really proud of, right? But it's still in a very small niche game in a very small niche community. And... It's... It's nothing, so it's kind of easy to stay humble. Uh... It's actually... Oh, I do like that last checkpoint. It's a pain, but I kind of like it. Speedy man, Shali! Shali! And Hannah! Dot zip! Hey! You made it to one as well? And you even said Henlo! Can everybody say Henlo back to Hannah? Hannah, it is lovely to have you here. I am glad you made it to a stream as well. I for literally did that bunny hop and went, hang on, I'm thirsty. I just realized there's a dude on the toilet down there. You see that? You see him, like, over that way? Like, can I? Yeah, this guy. Tortilla with the hen low. One thing is, I, I had to remake parts of this bike. It's actually, there's a funny funny story behind this outfit. I was wearing the outfit that matched the jersey that I'm currently wearing. That was like my whole big thing. And then I said that I wanted to make a new outfit because it was cool, but really had to make a new outfit because it kind of got deleted. It kind of disappeared. It kind of disappeared. That happens in the game sometimes. We just don't talk about it too much. So, uh, I created a new outfit and I actually like this so much more. The only thing I don't like is my front fender. I just don't like this model of front fender. So, I need to probably change that at some point. But I think it'll be more fun for me to just talk about changing it for the next six months and not actually do anything. So, I think we've just got to accept at this point that... During the uh, NFL, American football season, my mind is in that space. Just a little bit. <sighs> Hannah, I'm glad. Oh, why, why do you keep playing this track? All right, Hannah. I made Hannah's day. Let's make more of Hannah's day. What do you want me to play? You have the floor. I just hit my elbow. Um, You have the floor. What do you want to see? Any track, any tutorial, any advice, what track you're stuck on, um, some random thing on Track Central you want me to check out, up to you. I'm just happy the Pats are gone. Aren't we all? Except for the Pats fans. But aren't we all? Oh, okay. Lemon Sledge. Uh, oh, I'm going to call you Lemon's Edge. Lemonzel. Lemonzel Edge. Yes. That's what you got now. Lemonzel Edge. Um, the question was way back when. Sorry, I missed it. Used Twitch a couple of times. How do I graduate, become a new student? Okay. That's just my fancy way of saying follow and subscribe. Uh, following is pressing a button that says follow. And I think that lets you know when I'm on next time. And if you subscribe, it's where you either use Amazon Prime or pay a small amount of monies. And that gives you other benefits and spreads the love and does all that fancy stuff. And it makes me spin a hat. It makes me spin the hat. <coughs> Tyler with a green belt. Hell no. 
Um, Rhino on the Fusion Extreme. Which which oh the few oh really okay wow you you coming in with the good with the good ones. Uh, trials, thank you so much. Yes, family staying safe with the fire. Checked in on my mother this evening. Actually, um, yeah, all good. All right. Fusion Extreme Rhino, really, really. Hold on, I've got to beat time as well. Can you tell me what the time is? Like, as in what your friend's time is? Oh, right, let me just let me just see if I can pass it first. He runs a platinum. I. <sighs> Hannah. I don't even remember the track, dude. All right, so this is what we're doing for the next 72 hours. Oh, this bike is just... It's just fat and lazy. Ugh. Actually, this... This right here, so for those that have followed for a little while, you know that I'm into skateboarding. Me doing that obstacle is exactly what it feels like to be 38, overweight, and skateboarder. It's like, you know what you're trying to do, but every, every part of your body is just like, nah. Nah, we, we, we good here. Like, dude, you're designed for resting. That's what your your key strength is. I'm not getting a platinum. I don't even. Oh. How do you get a platinum on this bike? I do skateboarding. I mean, I mean, as much as an out of shape 38 year old can learn skateboarding, sure. So like with most things, my passion is uh, far greater than my talent. Wow, Hannah, are you serious? This is nuts. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm not, I'm not even getting through this. Uh, Valkyrie, uh, latest learned trick. I mean, <laughs> and they're not even really tricks. I mean, I can, I can do a shove it and an ollie at like slow-ish speeds. Not to fall? No, I haven't learned that one yet, sadly. Um, I, that, that's one I'm still practicing quite often. Yeah, no, Hannah. Um, pff, nah, not not even a chance. I, I mean, I, I should be able to maybe pass it. If I can do this under 10 minutes, I'm going to be proud. Your friend is a freak. Who is your friend, by the way? Shout out to Hannah's friend. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Wow. I mean, good and talk, Starfighter. Oh, serve? That's tough. Gee, I had someone post a message on my Fusion uh, uh, Hill Climb or oh, Ice Climb video like this week complaining they couldn't get past like the third obstacle or something. I was like, just practice. Nah, Kerry. Nah, Kerry. 
No, that, that, that would that would be pretty cool actually. See, things like this we really need to carry momentum and stuff through. Ideally. Oh. How's the professor doing? Evex the gamer. Evex? Uh, professor as well. He enjoys talking about himself in the third person and taking long walks on the beach. That was supposed to be a real world bounce. Hannah? Alright, nah. Hannah, 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 Hannah. I'm not... I'm not doing if I graduate with to watch this. Nah, I'm just watching. Let's just do it. It's cool. You don't have to do nothing for it. I'm a man of the people. Uh, what's the name? And everyone else, we get the joy of sitting here and watching me scroll through 300... Oh, am I 391 already? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's with a good bike. All right, Greg. Let's go, Greggy. Toward the top, yeah. How's many shady? The children are both well. Wow. I'm really going to sit here during a live stream and just do this just because Hannah said no no 104 oh oh is there a scroll list oh they did put that is that new yeah that's new barely plat that's still impressive though uh Where, where? Ah, oh, really? But improved on the other bike. Because if you're doing 104 on the Rhino, you're doing, yeah. You're doing some solid times. Because you're actually talented. Unlike me. Uh, Alright, sorry Greg, you had your moment. And then you lost your moment. Righto, what's all this then? I don't know what voice that was. Uh, I'm going to keep trying though, just for a little bit. Yeah. Greg, you suck. For somehow being better. Yes, Alpha. I feel like you really need a good, a good hop there. Hey, Ellen. Yeah, wow, you really need to nail this whole track. Everyone go say hi, well. I'm assuming he's here. Yes, he's here. Go. Go. Don't go. Don't go and say hi to Alan. Say hi to Alan. But don't you dare misspell his name because the associate professor will be all over it. Why? Why? I mean, what part of this makes you think that I just put the rift on? It's like, it's, it's like, it's like Siri's annoying cousin. <laughs> oh God. It's like, I just, I, I must have, like, I don't even know what that was. Does Alan sound like, you know, hey Oculus or something? Have they implemented a new feature in an update I didn't uh, read the fine print to? So all these times I've been accepting cookies, that's what it was about? I 
don't know what cookies are. I don't know why I'm whispering a lot tonight, but it's fun. Oh, well, Hannah, you, you tell Greg that I have a lot of respect. And what did you say? Like, you don't talk to him anymore? Was that the comment? I don't talk to him much anymore, but it would be a nice gift for him. No, I'm not... Oh, God. So now you're just getting bossy. You be nice to Hannah once, and this is what happens. By the way, my eye is, like, crying. Do you ever get that, just where one eye cries? Greg! Fantastic! Fantastic! Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wow, I just looked for that. It happened. <laughs> it's just like, I better get the hat. <laughs> All right, you get seven spins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On oh, Alan, why do people just come in here, brag about their accomplishments, and make me feel bad for not being able to do anything near it? But GGs, everyone chuck in some GGs for Alan. Bacon base on the alpaca. Is it ridiculous? I feel like there's a couple of checkpoints that are ridiculous. That's a rhino too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Greggy. Yeah, see this this one, yeah, you need a solid hop there. There's, there's a few this and this one too. Really mo the momentum is what's going to get you through because otherwise they're Fantastic. a pain. Hey, Hannah. Hannah gets a spin. Ah. I just spun it into my I'm Not good at this. But Hannah, congratulations on the graduation. You has me money now. And you English Englished good. And a save? Yeah, right, Kerry? This is nuts on the runner. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's solid. GGG game, Greg. So... Ah, so I got to do a multi. No fly zone on the squid. All right, where's no fly? What difficulty is no fly zone? Because, I mean, I can I can just do this and look for it. Let's see how long would that take. What is it? There it is. How easy was that? What am I doing? Squid? Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's go, Notion. Oh, wow. Wow, it's shit. Like, this is... Honestly, everyone, go and do this. This is what a 38-year-old out-of-shape body skateboarding is exactly like. Like, it's that, it's that feeling of, like... You know, it, it looks like a functioning body. It looks like something that's capable of jumping. 
But when you actually try and perform the physical activity of a jump, it just doesn't work. Inten intensity? Intensity? Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Well, thank you for coming. And sad to see you go. Alright, so... This feels like that. Really gotta pump that back wheel. No, it's I think I can, I think I can. Now I'm too tired. <laughs> like, that's, a, that's what it's like. It's like... Actually, I've tried to explain this. So I, so I play volleyball uh, for, like, a local comp as well. And most of the guys on my team are, like, 20, 21-year-olds. And I try and explain... Uh, I try and explain to them. It takes me... So the games take 45 minutes, right? It takes me, genuinely, takes me 30 minutes to adequately warm up to the point where I can, you know, uh, like, move. And if you've got 15 minutes and the game's over. So, and I'm the same with skateboarding. I, I've probably got the stamina to skate for, like, an hour or so. And most of that is me warming up, and then I've got to leave. Oh, what is this? Night Shady. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Night City. No, 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 no. I'm going with Night Shady now. You, you can be one of the family, dude. Yeah, yeah. Micro Shady, Mini Shady, Wifey Shady, and Night Shady. I'm like, what? Are, what are, is it? Fantastic. Hey, Lars. Oh my, oh. I mean, Lars. Like, I feel like I owe you something more than just hat spins. Like, 24 is a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the other way. 11, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. Dude, that's incredible, Lars. Reverse hat spin. I mean, I I did. I tried to do that one time where I did. I could. I literally tried to flip the hat on every axis. But two years is nuts. I don't. Even, I don't even think I've been streaming for that long. Um. This is horrible. So I'm. I'm trying to milk every little bit of juice out of this bike, Fantastic. but... Santa! Santa! Four for you! Two, three, four for Santa. Oh, I gotta give me a, a Spitfire sticker right there. There we go. We good enough. Yeah, run up and slide the ramp. Nobody wants to watch this. I can't even get... Oh, this bike sucks. Mate, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. I mean, I can get up there. Are you having fun yet? Oh my god. So I was like, okay, can I do like a cheeky... A cheeky fender maybe? Nah, I'm not gonna... Oh, I still just want to pop in and make you spin the hat. I'll always spin the hat for you, my friend. Hey, always welcome, dude. Thanks for stopping by. So somehow, oh my word. Okay, so that's that was the sort of slide. Yeah. 
I have talked before. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. That's the problem. I've talked before about the fact that I like hard, like doing tracks on a hard bike or a, a bike that makes it harder. So that was good. So here's the challenge, right? I'm, I'm starting to mentally process what's necessary to achieve this, but the, the, I guess the physical ability and the timing required to hit it so precisely. It's such a small window that you get such a small amount of attempts or like uh, opportunities. And then of those ones, even if I got close to it, then I'd probably stuff up halfway through and the net result is I'm probably not doing this. So yeah, so there's, there's kind of multiple options, but that's the one that works. Wow. Wow, that's a checkpoint. Wow. How? How? Gold with the squid, yeah. And the worst thing is, there's people that can do that. Oh, Ice. Um, I'm sorry to say, I have zero memory of anything that's ever happened on a stream. So if you want to know what my thoughts were of your Christmas track, someone else in here is going to have to tell you. We'll go back and watch the VOD. I'm sure I... Uh, Adequately time stamped it so it's easy to never. I suck at YouTube. That's not what I. No. You know, I genuinely, genuinely do not remember anything that happens on this channel at all. All right, Alan. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Hope you enjoyed yours as well. I didn't even know you were streaming, dude. I checked. I checked and you weren't on, so I'm assuming that somehow you had like a bunch of people that you would just... I don't know. Or are you that big time that even when you're not streaming, you've got people watching you? I think that's what happens. You're going to play another game? You're cheating on us? Enjoy that, dude. Actually, I was playing Grand Theft Auto last night. Kind of fun. Played it, finished it multiple times, but I uh, haven't actually... Uh, yeah, just hadn't played on uh, a PlayStation, so I've got a fresh a fresh build. A fresh account, so I can uh, start from scratch. I would play GTA Online. All right, so how's this? I'm going to complain about PlayStation a little bit. You need bloody PlayStation Plus on every... Hang on. Um, on every console in the household whereas with xbox if i've got one live account uh i can use that one live account for micro shady and i uh and share everything and on playstation i've got to play for two so if i wanted to play even in the same house with him gta online or something uh, or any online games i've got to have two playstation plus subscriptions one each i don't like that How, 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 Jay? Explain. Because I've never... I'm an Xbox fanboy, so... Explain. No, no, but I'm talking... But on different consoles. I think I understand what you're saying, but that f feels like something I'll pay attention to tomorrow. But cool. I only, it only happened this week, so I didn't have a chance to actually look into it yet. 
So cool. Thanks, crowdsourcing knowledge to save me using Google. Oh, this feels like it's not going to be fun. I mean, the rest of the track's been fun, but this feels like it won't be. Oh, Jay, where were you a few weeks back? I bought three copies of GTA 5. <laughs> I have a digital one for him, a physical one for him, and my physical one. I'm not smart. Tim Uh Yes. Well, I mean, all right. Is everything okay in my part of the country? Absolutely not. A lot of it's on fire. Uh, where I am immediately? No threat. Like, I'm, I'm cool. My, mo my mother is up in a spot where there are plenty of fires. Yeah, Snake, I don't think Rockstar notices my couple of uh, purchases over their $50 billion they made from this game. But yeah, fire, fires are bad. Um, there is a link that I post every now and again on this chat to donation sites. I'm not going to do a big charity drive or anything, but hey man, um, yeah, Australia is doing it pretty tough at the moment. I'm, it's actually cool to see, given that we are still, I know we're, we like to think we're a big part of the world, but you know, we know where we fit and it's kind of cool to just see all of the love, appreciation, support and all the thoughts that people have. Far more importantly is to acknowledge that climate change is doing some serious damage to my part of the world and others. And uh, I don't know. Let's be a little bit more thoughtful about it. You're playing GTA right now? Nice. Yeah, I think when I finish this, I might even play a bit of... Oh, I can almost just ride up there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so for those that don't know, um, I think the estimate I w saw was like... So 480 million animals are estimated to have been killed. Uh, I think the last count I saw was 1,500 houses destroyed and numerous lives lost as well as a result of these fires. Like, they are worse than anything we've ever seen. I, I mean, I've lived through some pretty bad bushfires here. So, yeah, man. It's horrible. And, it, like, honestly, I... I've barely seen, like, blue sky because of the smoke for, like, a month or two. Yeah, speedy. Some were. But, like, there was one I was hearing about today that was caused by a dude in Perth. I don't know. Again, I'm, I heard this secondhand, so I could be wrong, but um, his tire fell off his trailer. And the sparks from that caused the fire. And the whole thing is, fi fires starting is not new, right? People, anyone that's that knows Australia will know that fire bushfires are a, a legitimate part of our climate and environment, right? We always have bushfires. Um, actually, I think there's even some species of plant or tree that only their seed pods will only open after a bushfire, like evolution has like like fires have shaped them uh from an evolutionary perspective right so fi fires are fine they should happen our country needs them to happen from time to time the difference is the intensity the ferocity the temperatures the winds and all of the extremeness that comes with it that is absolutely abnormal like there was one so for americans out there there was a day a little while back where our countries, across the entire continent, the country's national average was 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is some stupid amount in a more meaningful Celsius measurement system. But it's like 45 or something. Or, yeah, 40, 45 degrees. As the average for the whole 
of the continent. Average. Okay, that is not normal. This obstacle's tough to do without this bike. So yeah, I'm thinking slide. Oh, yeah. It's a little warmer than I'd like. Yeah, no, yeah. I was just going to say, I thought I'd lost that and I would be so upset. That was not fun. That wasn't fun. Uh, ice? Yeah, look, fair point. We do have cyclones, which are Aussie versions of hurricanes or tornadoes. or I can't remember what the difference is between the high and low temperatures and they go clockwise and anti-clockwise it's all weird but uh yeah we have cyclones we don't really have earthquakes because we're in the middle of a plate i think the, the australia as a landmass is one of the oldest geologically or i don't know i think that's the word we're one of the oldest so we're quite stable there's no volcanic activity here we rarely have like i, I can remember one earthquake maybe two in my lifetime um because we're quite far from that stuff now get diamond notion shut up uh timmy yeah man there has been some the dlcs of these little guys or the sorry track packs i should say polar expedition there's a fusion one and this is the to the fair so there's been these little guys and all the southern hemisphere stuff as well So if you want to see what I'd do if I accidentally pressed platinum. No, I'm not doing any plats tonight. But I'll have another run. But let me go get a drink first. I'll be back. Talk amongst yourselves. How about that weather? How about them 49ers, Greek Panther? How about them? <sighs> Lemon Sledge, I have no info, and it's the honest answer. Um, but even if I did, I'd be under a non-disclosure agreement, so I wouldn't say a word. Um, but no, I'm, I'm, I actually, I've, I've barely spoken to the trials guys in ages. A couple little chats back and forth. Oh, hey, so, Greek Panther. How do you like them uh, new white uniforms on my rider? How do you like them throwbacks? So yeah, for those who haven't seen Ice Furno, this uniform that I'm wearing is surprisingly nice on this track. I feel like I want to make the bike white now too, but it might be too much. Oh, and, and Panther, I've got to show you this, this jersey in a second. I've completely forgotten how this track works I think I only played this for the first time the other day oh, I do like that little front that little endo stop and then use the momentum to get you up and over an obstacle it's kind of fun ah oh, wrong one wrong technique wrong technique 
Strong technique. So, uh, Greek Panther, are your plans for Sunday still the same? There's no uh, fake illnesses that are going to happen or anything? I mean, I can, I can come kidnap you Saturday night. That would work, dude. So here's the story. Greek Panther is a very good friend of mine who's also a very big 49ers fan. Far bigger, or at least uh, more long-tenured, if that's the right way to phrase it. Uh, yeah, so he's coming down with something now. Um, he's been a 49ers fan for a hell of a long time. I'm a relative newcomer for about four years or something. So, great mate of mine, and I'm like, dude, 110-inch screen. First playoff game since I've I've been a fan. First time 49ers are in the playoffs since like what 2012 or 2011 season. And he's like, oh, I've got plans. I can't come over and watch the biggest game of the season against against the Minnesota Vikings, who are the team that like our other really good mate has been a passionate fan of for like the longest time. So, I'm basically going to watch the biggest game of the season for my team versus my closest mate's team, and no one's going to be with me. I'm actually really upset about this. This is why I'm crying in just my right eye. Which one's Rise? Is that the easy of the two? Go have a look. I think I have, but let's go do it again. I haven't done it for ages. No, Mr. Vikings is not. What's it? What's he called on here? Cam Jock. Cam Jock. No, I don't even know. I don't even know how I did this first checkpoint. Here's, here's my problem. Once I don't play for a while. Oh, that's an overhang too. So I actually have to use the momentum. This is fun already. Hmm. Not what I'm... See, yeah, again, this is another one of these situations where it's like, I know... Oh! <laughs> I, that's a save. That's a save. I'm sorry, that's a cool save. Oh, that wasn't. Be good fam. Oh, Greek Panther, just quickly. I don't know. Did you see my my tweet to John Lynch? Why? Oh, hang on. Oh, that's right. What? No! 
Is this a one checkpoint? Is this seriously one checkpoint? I thought there'd be a checkpoint, like a... Interesting. The way to tackle this is almost to not right. Yeah, it's like just like that. You just almost fall. Yeah, you almost just fall down here. Try and use the gas to counteract. Actually, maybe I don't even need to flip. Wow. This sucks. Yeah, so, okay, so, no, nah, steadying yourself looks like... So John, John Lynch is the current general manager for the 49ers. He's also a Hall of Fame nominated safety and a bit of a legend in the NFL circles. And I, I was just randomly, I wanted to go back and see when I was first tweeting about 49ers. Cause like I said, I've only been a fan since like 2015. And so I just searched like my Twitter account in 49ers and I found like some of my first tweets, which is kind of cool. But then I found one where I basically sent a tweet. See, there should be a bloody... Oh, no! Gah! Um, I had a dream about the general manager of the team. And I met him and I got his autograph and was like getting an ice cream or something. And I, a year later, I completely forgot about that random... Uh, random dream and then yeah a year later I actually did meet him and get his autograph so I just yeah posted that little reminder because I was like that's kind of cool uh, you don't need to endo for that well oh, for the for the part down the bottom really we shall see speedy man shadows I'm nervous because I don't want to have to do that multiple times. This is fun. In the trials I hate myself kind of way. You kind of want to just barely clear this. If you get too much... I just want more height. Yeah. But thank you for the tip, Charles. Ugh. Ugh. Now where am I going? Am I going over the back? Here? Yeah? No! Ooh. I remember this. Nah, no, Worm, I've done this before. But not many times. This 
This is as far as you got? No. Well, as you see, I passed it. I think, I think... I think the way I do it is to get... To get up into that and then... I... Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, because you can't do that. That's I don't remember how I did it, but I did it. I think just digging your back wheel is... You kind of have to have your momentum going forward. Yeah, because you can't do that. Hmm. I believe I've forgotten how to do this. So I think once I get up there, it's ease off, ease off the gas, and then into front. Okay. It'd be good if I could do that. <laughs> yeah, I need a little bit more speed for that technique. I think. That's why this track sucks. Now I remember. Now, can anyone remember what I did? Something like that. I like that.
Fantastic. You suck. You suck. Damn Neko. Welcome to the University of Trials and Slippery. Ryan, that was almost for you. That would have been for you. I'm going to cry in my right eye for that. That's a tough spot. See, the saying you know Greek Panther's a good mate. I tell him about a tweet, he goes away and likes it. Seriously? Everyone like really impressed and stuff. Yeah, you're impressed. Yeah. That's a checkpoint. I don't really care. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't say that slippery. Not yet, man. Now you say it. Yeah, I was slow. <sighs> yeah, Andy, I passed the wall. I'm oh, awesome. I'm like heaps good at hill climbs. It's like, it's like what I'm best at. It's what I'm known for. University of Hill Climbs. That's why I almost called the channel that. <laughs> that hill climb sucks, dude. Ah. Nah, I don't want to watch you. I don't want to watch you be awesome. Speedy man shells. All right, what's next? Thank you for all the GGs. Cappuccino, Seville Delti, Sludge Detector. Dude, did you... Okay, sludge detector. Did you detect lemon sludge? I want to know if you did. No, I'm not doing Greenbelt. Greenbelt sucks. Greenbelt's like the worst track in the game. Like, seriously. Because it's the it's the track that's that broke me. It's the track. I mean, yeah, but no, I can't. And this actually, so what? Help me out. Where does Curse of the Demon fit in difficulty relative to green and blue and black? You want to see tears? I've already got tears, man. My eyes like annoying me. Hey, Hannah. Anytime. Thanks for. Hanging out with me for a little bit. <laughs> Detecting sludges everywhere. Actually, what was the uh the Futurama dudes with the big neck? They were and like that was like a detector or something. Yeah, it's like blue belt. Yeah, okay, cool. Between green and blue, yeah. I can't even do green, so I'm not trying it. Um 
No way! I mean... Why? Why? Like, I don't... I genuinely don't get this. It's like, my Rift has been plugged in for forever, basically. Through all these streams. And tonight, for the first time ever, it's just randomly popping up. And be like, hey, can I advertise to you in the middle of a stream? I did see that VR football, though, and I might go and check that out later. Um... Oh, trials in VR. Dude, I'd do it. I'd, I'd happily do it. Um, all right. What, 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 what? What do we say? Oh, snake. Yeah, let's go. Twin fire. What's uh, Twin Fire still here? No, I think it's just allergies or something. Like I said, man, these, this the smoke that's around is like messing with everybody's everything. Yeah, I do have gold medals, so be, yeah, I, could, I could go and try and get some plats. Sunken. All right, let's go. All right. All right. Twin fire. All yours, buddy. All yours. So everybody, be a 49ers fan this weekend. That's my only ask of you. Don't care if you don't like the sport. Hey, you like how I did the shadow and the letters? Did you see that? I'm really proud of that effect. It's super simple, but really effective. It's like a drop shadow. Because I'm a, I'm like a, I use drop shadows to a pretty significant degree. That's a fail, yeah. Uh, I use drop shadow. Nice chest. Oh, is that the chest? Is that chest the checkpoint? That's cool, dude. Ooh. Really? Really? A chest point. Oh, I wish I was that smart. You may be new to Twitch, but you've secured a place in my heart. Wow. Hold on, serve? I don't know what sport is in. I don't know what sport is. <laughs> like, you're aware of, like, physical pursuits for... A relatively meaningless objective, often between sweaty people. Oh, and you've even numbered the checkpoints. See, see, I respect the hell out of checkpoint numberers. Uh, Eagles are out, so I'm with you, Shady. Speedy Man Charlie, welcome to the bandwagon. And the worst thing is, because my good, good mate of mine is a Vikings fan, if the Vikings knock the 49ers out of the comp. I'll follow the Vikings. So literally I'll have to support the team that eliminated us. But that's what mates do, right? How did I recover that? I didn't. Are you a ref for rugby? Whereabouts, dude? It's funny. I, I do. I do league save for my uh, my son's under tens. So or be. Oh, I've done it for like three, three years now. Um, that's kind of fun. 
Hopefully you don't get uh, too much grief from all the league dads. Like, what sort of age group are you doing? Are you like... Yeah, younger stuff? Or are you... Grown adult stuff? I don't imagine the, uh... The quality of the grief is any different. What? Are you kidding? Twin fire, that is awesome, man. That is cool. Auckland, oh sweet. Oh, how are you liking our smoke? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's in Auckland, but I know it was getting across to you guys. Um, dude, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I really, I really enjoy my mini shady. Really likes his leagues. Yeah, so he'll be under 11s next year, and oh, this season. Uh, and yeah, he really enjoys it. That is such a good. All right, can I? Can I just call out to Twin Fire how good that obstacle is? Oh, I came for a day and then blue skies. All right, nice. But still, the fact that it made it there was ridiculous. If Liverpool wins the season, um, have to make Facebook account if they lose. New GPU. Oh, dude, yeah, easy, man. Win win. Hold on, are you like four? Are you fourteen, sir? Yeah, I, I read that about South America this week as well. All right, so I just want to call this out. This obstacle is fantastic. All right, it is ridiculously simple. Uh, it turn it's like almost no effort to create. I mean, look, it looks like decoration aside. Don't get me wrong, Twin Fire, but the subtlety, right? That's not a difficult bunny hop at the end, but because of the way that. So you can just ride over this as I did the first time. But what happens with those gaps? The front wheel just dips down just a little bit. It's not enough to throw you off the speed, right? You can keep going over and you bounce, 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 bounce. But even if you're leaning backwards, because of those little dips, it makes it very hard to actually lift the front wheel to do a bunny hop. Which means that this is a more difficult obstacle than it seems. The gap... Yeah, like it's, it's just very clever. And, and maybe I'm selling it more than it's worth. But look... Because of the way that all hangs together, I'm struggling to lift the front wheel to get up there. Twin fire, genius, man. That is very. And I, I, I can't. I don't know if a unique is the right way to talk about it. But actually, ah, oh, but okay. So that's cool. But yeah, it's almost like. Yeah, I've got to make more of an effort than I think I should, for a gap that big. Very clever. The chests are beautiful, the decoration's beautiful. I love this track. I feel like I've seen... I feel like I've seen uh, maybe Redlix play this, actually. Briefly. Because I've seen those crocodiles, but then they're in a lot of stuff, so maybe it was a different track. Oh, that... And that, that collision is so satisfying. The leaf... Nah, Twin Fire, man, you've you've really done well, and I so I, I I'm an appreciator of the little details. Yeah! I feel like a slide here is going to help me. Yeah, I saw you serve. I just didn't. Uh... Oh, I like how you've done that. It's like, Professor didn't acknowledge me the first time. Oh, that's so good, Twin Fire. I, b I better remind him that I'm 14. So I got, I got you, um, dude. That's that's. It, it's actually kind of weird. I'm I'm 38. Um, you're the age of somebody that if I talk to in public now, I have to like be, like look at me I'm like, it's, it's cool, man. I'm not a weird old dude. Oh my. Oh, Twin Fire. I love this. The details, like that, like a little time delay thing. So clever. Wow. 
Dude. What? What? This is so good, mate. Honestly. If anybody hasn't checked this track out, please do. Twinfire, that is exceptional. actually found the switch pretty damn good i'll be honest yeah miss rose absolutely uh ggs for twin fire yeah i, I think i'm past caring about diamonds <coughs> um but yeah serious serious all right so this is one of my moments where i'm like there should be a better way to acknowledge and thank and reward awesome uh track creators twin fire put a bunch of effort into that track and it's like we can't really show any love in any meaningful way you know so twin fire Ah, twin fire, twin fire, twin fire. I tried. No. No, is that you? Yes, it is. Are you live? No. Am I watching a video of you? Why am I watching a video of you? Or are you streaming? Back again. I'm confused. I don't think you're live. No, you're not live. Okay. Are you like? I thought the game is broken, but no, it. I'm gonna. I'm stopping. Anyway, what I was looking for was to see if Twinfire had a donate button on his Twitch channel. I was gonna go chuck him a small donation and put a link in chat and say we should all do the same thing, but you didn't, so you get none of my cash. That's the rules. That's how this works. Anyway, that drop shadow effect on the numbers on my jersey here, I love that effect. It is the simple. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give. A tutorial. It's it's not really a tutorial, but whatever. It literally is as simple as you just stamp the letters. So you stamp the thing twice. So it's like like that. You stamp it twice. You get the layer on the on the bottom. Change it to black, and and just literally put it, set it offset like that. It's that simple. But it looks so cool. So I recommend you do that with all of your stuff. Just all the writing. And the cool thing is that's how those jerseys actually look. So that's why I went for the effect. And that's why when I realized that's such a, a simple effect. Um, yeah, I sort of did that quite a lot. Gerinator, what's going on? What's going on? Um... Do we try and clear... Alright, so... I think let's try and clear up some... Actually, let's do the auntie contracts. Because these are at least kind of fun. And kind of random and weird bikes and stuff. So, that's what I'm going to go with now. Ah, oh, see, so yeah, I didn't even think felt about the... Um, yeah, switch lights and stuff. Yeah, so my, my, my thing with uh, rising on... Uh, switch is I bought a switch just about the time same time the game came out I was going over humble brag to the trials rising launch party in uh, Helsinki and was like you know what I'm gonna spend a bunch of time on the plane let's download a copy of trials and let's play it um, all the way through with the analog sorry with no analog inputs whatsoever so I only use the triggers and the triggers and the uh, sticks joy cons and I got everything through. I completed Inferno, finished the whole game. I think I only ever got silver on Inferno. And my, the problem was that a lot... Of, so I played through the entire thing on the flight to and from Helsinki. Because I had 
60 hours flight time. But I had some weird sleep deprivation and stuff going on. Anyone that's done those long haul flights will know what I'm talking about. It was horrible. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I actually was surprised at how good the game looked. Again, if you're expecting a, you know, a, a 1080p console experience in a handheld pocket device, what the hell? Um, you're going to be disappointed. But if you go into it looking for an awesome Switch experience, it's an awesome Switch experience. That first AP in Rise of the Dragon. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about on Switch? Pfft, no chance. Alright, I don't think that challenge was too hard. See, funny, I saw Alan tweet something out today saying that, uh,. Yeah, his, um, his goal now is to get rid of all the contracts. And I can relate, man. I don't want to see these things. Donkey, let's go. Nearly Canadian. Hey, big worm. Drink. <laughs> it's part of the drinking game. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember the drinking game. Switch Pro? Are there any games worth getting on the Switch? I, I got one. I bought one from Mini Shady, and none, neither of us use it. Like to me, Nintendo make amazing hardware, and then I just and I think the difference is right. I, if if I was doing a lot of gaming in environments where being mobile would make sense great but if i'm going to be at home when i've got a gaming pc a ps4 pro an xbox one x i think i've got three xbox ones in this house and two ps4s like why would i sit there and play a switch game and i'm and i'm not and this is the problem i have no nintendo nostalgia whatsoever i do not care about zelda mario or whatever else they do it's like it does nothing for me so if that's the case like uh, but again hardware right ever since the wii the wii is incredible right like that was for its time i'm sorry that, that was a very innovative piece of hardware the wii u with the screens and the portability stuff the switch now is an evolution of that it's fantastic but it just never gets me from a gaming uh, i buy them all and then it's like Meh. don't care So what is it about Zelda? I've never played a Zelda game before. And probably won't ever. But so again, no spoilers if I don't know, I don't know if that's a thing, but like what is it that makes those games good? Hey, Franklin's back. And Sozo is with me on the Zelda. It's not hate, it's just lack of care. Like what? What type of game are Zelda's? I mean, they're not quite RPG, but third person. -y. I'm trying to think what genre. More just the action adventure type stuff. Showing my ignorance here. And this is the cool thing, right? You can call yourself a gamer. You can be a passionate gamer. You can, you know, associate with gaming communities and all the rest of it and you can still be completely ignorant or at least my view of what a gamer is you don't have to know everything you don't have to be plugged in everything there's so many different facets of gaming these days that you can you can be like yeah i'm a gamer you know i play tons of fever and cod I'm like sweet man you enjoy your stuff that's not me Sort of like Skyrim. Okay. Adventure, yeah, alright. But again, why like why would I So why would I play that? When when I've got all the other consoles and stuff, like would I would I play that over a Skyrim or a Fallout or a, I don't know. Some of those type of games. Or a you know a Last of Us or a Buddy Uncharted or I don't know, something else. 
Like, is it is it something you have to kind of care about what Zelda stands for, or is it just is it just objectively good? Hardcore solitaire minesweeper. Okay, actually, who was the fourteen-year-old? I've gone blank. Uh fourteen-year-olds unite. What was his? Uh, buddy. Oh, and Tetra, Tetris. All right. Um, I'm going to sirs, sirs, sirs. Lost him now. Um. Those of you like Western made games as opposed to Japanese. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. I, I don't think I've ever really got into. Uh, yeah, to, like to be fair, uh, you're, you're probably right. The, the, the Japanese art and culture. Not cult, but yeah, just, just that, that sort of genre of stuff is not something that I've really invested time into or really pay much attention to. So you're probably right. That's probably an element too, because they are. Even from a pacing, uh, the reason I mentioned culture is you talk, you end up talking a little bit about pacing as well. They can tend to just sort of, uh, you know, it, it maybe not necessarily as much instant gratification stuff. They can be a bit slower and paced a bit differently. Yeah. So I suspect if there's elements of that too, maybe not for everybody, but that's fine. That's what gaming's about. And it can be a good story because this is the thing, right? You can have a... You can have a great game with a great story with not great graphics. That's okay. If it's if it's good enough to make up for it, you cover up you know, you cover up the faults. Yeah, Snake, I get that, man. I mean, actually, look, actually, so here, so here's my one exception to that whole thing. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I got to mention this game every now and again, because I love this. And this is where my, this is my one little effort into Japanese games. Has anybody here played, sorry, it's showing up poorly, but has anybody here played Road Trip Adventure? Please tell me people here have played Road Trip Adventure. I rented this game. Back back in the days we used to rent video games. I rented this video game. And I went to... A mate. I, sorry, it was at my place. A mate was uh, crashing at my house. My girlfriend and my wife. But my girlfriend at the time, she's like, all right, I'm going to bed, boys. You guys keep playing this game. And we pulled an all-nighter. She woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning and we're still there glued to this thing. We had to take the game back the next day because you had like a one-day rental, which I'm sure there's people here that don't even know about game rentals. But... He took it back and we're sitting there just thinking about this game all day and like the next day like on Monday morning I went to the game store and I bought a copy just to play like I was like 90% complete and I played the last 10% of this game and I bought it and I bought a copy for my mate it was like 10 bucks it was stupidly cheap bought him a copy and we finished it is it like crazy taxi nah um I, 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 you know what no I'm not even going to show because I'll probably put this up on YouTube and I'm sure I'll get hit with stuff if I try and play someone else's video Oh, fair use is just too complicated. Um, but the the basic premise of the game, I think, is that you start off as this little, like... Do you anyone remember Micro Machines? Those tiny little cars? You drive around in these looking, these little things. But, but it's almost like a car-based RPG. So you kind of crash into people, and that's how you start dialogue with them. So you meet people, they give you quests, they give you different goals, you earn money. But what you can do is then upgrade your car and you can get wings and jetpacks and a whole bunch of stuff. And there's like these racing, there's like a racetrack sequence where, all right, minute 29, I gotta remember my contract as well. Um, there's like racing track parts, like a competitive thing against AI that you're sort of making money. And then there's like a story-based element, but then there's a whole bunch of different levels and a bunch of like, you know, towns and cities and there's like a cloud world and all this crazy. So again, this is that sort of, I suspect all the, the Japanese influence coming into it. So I think it was a, a Japanese game that they sort of, you know, created and ported over for Western markets. Um, but it was just hugely addictive. Like, the, the the gameplay was cool. The I mean, I don't think it was the story, but I think it was just the, the challenge of just trying to upgrade your car and complete all the missions and the quests and whatever it was. Absolutely, absolutely hooked. 
And yeah, to, to this day, like I'm still li literally sitting here thinking about it fondly going, all right, I wonder if I can go and, uh, I wonder if I can go and pick that, pick that up and have another go at it. Cause I'd play it again. And again, you're like, yeah, you must've been able to complete it in like 10 hours. Um, yeah, and that, that to me was a game that it wasn't it wasn't graphics, it wasn't anything, but just something just hooks. Uh, and I even I even used to say that with uh, GTA San Andreas, even for the time, San Andreas was not a great looking game relative to other games. It was pretty good, but it, it was it, like I, I can remember playing San Andreas when I was in love with it, feeling like graphically it was a step down relative to some of the other big games that were out there at the time. But the gameplay was just superb. There was so much. There was so much going on. Um, and so much freedom you had that it was unparalleled to me. So, yeah, I'm not all about graphics. I'm not a, you know. You can forgive a lot of things in a game if the game is good. And talking like this, like I'm, I had a... A rough and a busy six months. Um, just really busy and just a lot of stress and just stuff going on at work. And I've started 2020 really trying to focus on just not not letting it get to me as much. And just having a different perspective. Because a lot of the time it's how you perceive situations, not the actual situations. There's a lot of it was self-imposed pressure that I was putting on myself. So I'm trying to sort of have a different perspective and part of it I think too is I've kind of to a degree fallen out of love with video games I still like them a lot but I'm kind of yeah I'd, li I'd like to just spend more time playing them and playing them for fun again and I think part of that came from and not to you know sound like I'm whinging or anything but part of that I think came from the fact that yeah I spent two years working on a video all my spare time all my weekends all my nights went into working on a video game that's, that's tough when you're working full time with wife and kids and commute three hours a day and yeah it just I think all of that sort of just took its toll so but then adult life exactly exactly adult life is uh it's no joke man it's no joke snake so okay did anyone play it Sandra kind of ugly but massive yeah, yeah exactly uh blockbuster Nah, I th video easy, I think. I mean, we have Blockbuster here too, but yeah. Alright, so nobody played Road Trip Adventure. Alright, can some... If, if someone's near a PC, there's enough people in here that hopefully someone is, can someone find out, is there a way on current-gen platforms to play Road Trip Adventure? I'm pretty sure they brought it back on the PlayStation Store as like a classic game I think on PS3 because it was a PS2 game but you could play it on PS3 um, but is there a way to play it on PS4 can you purchase it yeah yeah, yeah I saw that I is that sort of thing in the same way that they've got like X Xbox backwards compatible is that possible on PS4 or no I mean I do have a PS3 but what do I have to do? I'd have to buy it online, like a digital copy. So I don't really feel like plugging my PS3 back in. I hated that controller with a passion. PS4 is actually alright, but... PS3 controller I hated. I played the bare minimum of games I could on that console. I don't know what I was doing there. Can you really? I mean, I still don't feel like plugging in my PS3 for this game. Like, I don't think it was that good. Damn, look how ripped my arms are. There's some definition in there. Oh. So, does that just work, Snake? 49. Man, I want to play Bang Bang Nine again, but I don't even know if I can. Dude, how pumped are you, man? How excited are you? 
and we've got like everybody back. So I've taught me sorry, the the forty nine ers fan in the chat. I mean <sighs> They're both Bluetooth. Yeah, I don't even really understand. The technology behind them. Uh Actually, is there is there PS2 emulators? Is that a thing that exists? Fantastic! Hey, hey, Franklin! Congratulations on the graduation. You have two big old spins for you, man. Thank you, thank you. It's actually done with gaming after ten years. I started in two thousand four. I think it was Doom, Half Life, Black Mirror. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this, this is why I probably haven't been streaming as much, but focus on YouTube as much. Just I'm like, you know what? I need, I need a break from a whole bunch of stuff. And that's why the whole skateboarding thing's happening. Like, yeah, I'm just... I'm looking after Shady. You're excited about Alexander? As am I, my friend. As am I. Yeah, I saw it, Snake. I'll, I'll have to check it out later. Um, oh, man. So we're... Okay, so you've got, I've got to live a little bit vicariously through you. Hey, Dwarf. Hey, Don. Um... So, Frisco, let's go with that. Where do you live? Because I can't remember. Like, is any you actually in San Francisco or. I'm sorry, I probably asked you this before, but. Damn. Do they have monkeys? Do we have monkeys in Australia? I'm gonna Google that. Every now and again, my Google history looks really funny. Are there monkeys in Australia? There are no monkeys in Australia. Yeah. There you go. Why are there no monkeys in Australia? See, these are the questions that you should be asking. If you haven't asked yourself that question, <laughs> I love this article. We all have questions that keep us up at night. Admittedly, why there are no monkeys in Australia may not be one of them. But since we're on the subject, it's a fascinating answer and concerns Ida from high school geography. Am I not? Okay, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. You know what? I'm going to post that in chat. <laughs> Anybody's as bored as I am. Oh. Yeah. Tedesco, what's going on? Uh... Oh, you're in Southern California. Okay. Uh, slippery. How's the skateboarding going? Uh, <laughs> I haven't posted anything on Twitter. There's a reason for that. I haven't done anything. I suck. Um, it's frustrating like nothing else that I can't... I can't seem to progress, but I'm trying. I'm just... Whatever. I'm having fun. If nothing else, mate, it's keeping me active. It's getting me out of the house. I'll be down there tomorrow morning. It's uh, Carnes Hill, if anybody's interested. If anybody wants to make it to Southwest Sydney. Um, yeah, like, I'm, I'm... Yeah, I'm getting out. I'm meeting new people. I'm trying new things. I'm doing some exercise. I, I may not ever progress past my current level, and that's fine. I, like, I dropped in on a five-foot ramp. Like, that's something. If I get a chance to tomorrow and I feel brave enough... I might do that again tomorrow and try and get video of that because that ramp feels pretty damn big even though when you watch it you'll be like yeah that's easy it's scary when you're up there oh! um so frisco what's the what's the vibe in southern california um 
Yeah. What's what's the feeling? Like I just I I just wish I was closer to it. Like it it sucks that I'm on the other side of the world and you just can't you just can't share it with many people. Uh dwarf. Um I'm trying a bit of everything to and this is must my other thing. I'm not trying particularly hard to do any one thing. So you know, like I'll I'll go into a bowl and sort of pump and turn around a little bit of that and just sort of get used to riding around on that type of thing. I'll you know, I sort of doing shove it's and stuff. So trying to I guess that's more street stuff. Haven't really started grinding. There's one little thing you can kind of roll up onto where you don't have to ollie onto it. You just sort of ride up onto it and grind, you know, trying to ride, you know, fakey switch. Oh, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Try and bits and pieces. So, but even like, you know, trying to, trying to learn power slides and stuff at the moment. So just little things like that, but just, just playing around, you know, no stalls, real, like really, really basic beginner stuff, but just trying to get you just used to shifting your body weight around and yeah. That type of stuff. Okay. No polar bears in Norway. Oh. Pardon. You said I wish you gave me such a quick answer to my question that there are no polar bears in Norway. You didn't ask it a question. You made a statement. Is your question, are there? Why are there none? Ah. Oh. Save it. Save it. these contracts sometimes. It's fair. But, yeah, okay. Frisco, that's disappointing, man. All I can suggest is that you put on as much, like, every piece of your Niner gear and just wear it everywhere. Like, dude, you hear Carl Shanahan this week talk, tells this story about how he got a throwback Sanders jersey like when he was a ball boy for the team and wore it for like a month. And that's our head coach now. Like, ah, oh, so good. Ah, oh, does that mean I never get to see Auntie's face ever again? Wow. See, the one thing I wish, and this would be just another quality of life thing, if it had the number of remaining contracts under each of these things. So if I saw one that has 10 and one of them that had 72, I'd just do the easy one and try and clear them off, right? I can't tell how many I've got. That's a lot. That's a lot less. Let's try that. Slippery Ryan, let's go. Like I said, I'll be out tomorrow, but you got to understand that my fear is like catastrophic. It's ridiculous. That's not a... What? That's not easy. What's that? I'm trying to see what's he... What? Yeah, wow. No, that's not easy. 
I need far, oh, far more basic than that. Yeah, you know, actually, the, the most demoralizing thing that I watched is one of these skater people that teaches you stuff. He talked to, he was doing some, like, basically some, you know, some beginner things. And he talked about something, and this is something that I, like, re like genuinely really demoralized me. He talked about something, and he's like, oh, yeah, this is something you'll learn in your first two weeks of skating. And I'm like, dude, I've been doing... I've been doing this for six, eight months. I still don't know how to do it. But I think you, you, you forget that at, at my age, I would be lucky if I get three or four hours a week on a skateboard. And half of that is trying to warm up and just be physically able to do what's going on. Mikey, what's going on? Nolly front side. Yeah, so I can't nolly. I can't do anything. So, I, like, I, I was trying to do, like, front shove it, which is the opposite. So, pushing the board forward with your back foot, or I guess you... But, yeah, no, I'm not doing nolly, or at least... Just push with the front. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll play around with it, but, man, I don't know. The other problem is I had a massive bail a couple of weeks back. Well, a week or so ago. It just oh hurts so much. Like I had this like uh this couple of parents that were watching their kids on scooters like come over to me and offer me help me up. It was really bad. But yeah man, I'm taking my time, I'm in a rush. Well, I mean I'd like to be able to do a bit more before I'm fifty, but whatever, it's fun. But yeah, hey Frisco man, you rep that none again. Love it. This is why now I pretty much wear a Niners jersey every stream. Because why not? And look, whatever happens, man, it's been a hell of a run. When you think about what our last, what, three, four, five seasons, or yeah, at least three or four seasons were, you've got to be happy with what, 13 and 3. You know, first seed and everything else. Now, if we if we lose to the Vikings, it'll be disappointing because we, we should beat them. But, ah, oh, flips. Oh, I've got a beat Golden Nugget as well. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Julie, I'll get back to you in a second. I need... Contract. Yeah, thank you, Tedesco. I kind of suck at this. Um, I can't nolly, but I can do that. Wow. Yeah, fair. Um, I'm at the stage where I'm learning to stand on it without falling off immediately. All right. So this is the thing. I, I feel like I can sp inspire a lot of people to get from Julie's stage to my stage. But I need other people. And this is why I'm waiting for the skate park to be built like around the corner from my house. Because I'm waiting for those people to help me. Um, oh, Andy, come on, dude. You can make it, man. <laughs> Oh, Frisco, the, the Seattle comment? Dude, like... Yeah, those games. <laughs> but man, that, that tackle by Greenlaw. Oh, so good. I just... So what has to happen? For us not to beat Seattle, they have to lose to someone this week, right? Oh, yeah, my good. Yeah, so Julie, the cool thing for you... 
And by the way, I'm so proud of you. Keep going. Um, the cool thing is, there'll be a moment where you'll look back at yourself. And I do this now. Like, uh, like I, I look at some of the stuff I can do on a skateboard. And I'm talking just riding around, going up on ramps, doing turns. Um, you know, ba basic things. But, you know, doing a little manual over this. Or, you know, like, stuck, like, I'm doing stuff now that I couldn't imagine doing when I first started. When, the first time I got on a board, I fell off and smashed my elbow the first time I stood on a board, pretty much. So, don't... Yeah, don't don't get disheartened by the perceived lack of progress, but you will. But just keep riding, and it does just become more natural. Like, I can step on a board now, and it's like just walking. Like, I don't really think about it, which is nice. Why am I not paying attention to this contract at all? See where the problem is here. To get the airtime, you're going to end up going too slow. Julie, that is awesome. Dude, post some videos or something. You on Twitter or anything? I don't know. Send me something. I always get inspired by people. I don't, The first time I learned to drop in was because there was a 13-year-old kid next to me who asked me how to help with ollies and then just goes away and drops in on this ramp. I was like, how the hell did you do that? And he taught me how to do it. And then actually, a couple of weeks back, when I dropped in on this five-foot ramp, um, I watched the kid do it. And I went up to him and said, like, oh, man, that's so cool, man. That's awesome. Like I, that, I said, that's something that's been scaring me because there's like a three-foot ramp over here that I did, but th five was never got close to it. And he's like, that was my first time. I was like, you kidding me? I said, dude, if that was your first time, I'm going to go do mine as well. So, and I did. I don't think he was, like, <laughs> I don't think he cared, but it was an important moment for me. Oh yeah, well speaking of impossibles, man, my uh my current uh deck that I'm skating is a eight point one two five Rodney Mullen almost deck. Big fan of Mullen, so not I mean I'm just kinda of embarrassing him and his legacy. Oh, oh, inverted. How good is inverted airtime by the way? Like, it was always one of these things in the game that I'm sure all the fans were like, man, do you know what? Yeah. Like, sh <sighs> sure, I like, you know, speedrunning and, you know, ninja tracks and everything. Man, I wish I could just measure how often I was upside down in the air. And then actually set me a challenge for it? Woo! So good. Stoppies, oh, stoppies are amazing. Can I take credit? Can I be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right. that, that's, that's the one I asked for. Whew. Get lynched by the community. Do I have to, oh, I got a big gold nugget as well. Wow. Oh, you like that? You like that little move though? That was kind of cool. I just looked. You idiots. I just looked at the inverted air time. Realized I was close. But. 
didn't know how close. Or where Golden Nugget was, and I almost lost it. Hey, Slippery Ryan. Dude, the deck that I just finished on uh, was a 825 girl. Uh, what's his name? Rodney, Rudy Johnson. Uh, it, was, it was cheap. But man, it was it's my favorite by far. Like I, I, like, I haven't got anything that's just felt so good to me. So I've just set up two two brand new boards. One's a Mullen 825 with, I think, Thunder, Thunder Trucks. And then a set of Indies on an 825 Element deck. So, yeah, I'll start playing around with them. But yeah, this girl, I'm actually really sad to let this girl deck go because it's just, it just felt so natural. It's like probably the one that I've done the most on and got the most comfortable on. So, yeah, it'd be interesting. All right, one wheel. Oh, so this isn't a wheelie, it's literally one wheel. I think I've done this. Sorry, I've attempted this. This, this challenge sucks. I'm right. I'm right in saying that, aren't I? See, if I didn't have to beat Silver Bullet, maybe it's less of, less of a problem. But you do. Oh, how good are steps and obstacles too? Let's see. Oh. 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 So this doesn't look too hard. I thought this was a really difficult one. Oh. He says failingly. Counts as one wheel. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, I think that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Venture trucks, Spitfire. See, I couldn't find any ventures at like a reasonable price, but I refuse to use anything but Formula 4s. Yeah, I, th I think that was easier than I realized. But thank you, Julie. Um, yeah, Formula 4s, I swear by. This is oh, oh. Um, That's why the graduation hat got the uh, Spitfire branding. Because I, I kind of figured, sure, surely, with how big this channel is, someone from Spitfire is... What am I doing? Backflips. Someone from Spitfire is going to be in chat one day, see the hat, and be like, oh man, totally got to send this guy some wheels. That happens, right? Alright, I guess it's only three backflips. What have I got to do? Beat Silver. I feel like that's going to be too hard. Halfway through the track. Airtime is good. Am I even on track for a personal best right now? What the hell? A personal best was more important. I don't care about the contract. <laughs> Probably should have, but... Ugh. 
I mean, I could I could have sat there easily and just done the time, but whatever. What's more important, a stupid contract or a, a PB on a track? I'm mean, saying that, I feel like PBing this would be easy. But if I may, I'll just take a moment to say thank you to everybody that comes and checks out streams. Um, I really enjoy this uh, end to my week. I've never, I, I never thought I would ever have like a schedule, but just, and even though it's one night a week, just sticking to it, I don't know, it just kind of makes it fun. So I appreciate the fact that people turn up. That was ambitious. Oh, and I lost all three of my backflips. I want to do that. That looked like it would be fun, though. No. Friday lunchtime routine? That's cool. Sorry, I can't think of anything more creative to say. Um, because I'm trying. Oh, I thought I was going to get it over the line and I didn't. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I got close. Oh. But no, thank you. Seriously. It means a lot. Oh, wow. Slippery. Nice. Now, actually, I, I've I've actually got my first ever set of bearings I've got to clean this weekend because I was riding a pump track that I found while I was at a camping ground, and every time the board went off the track, it went into like this buck chip that was just dust, just dust. So I, I spin them in like three or two of the wheels, and it was funny. It kept falling off on the same side. So two of the wheels still are awesome, and then two of them you spin, and then like you, you'll spin the first set of wheels, and then you spin the second ones, and the second ones you spin stop, like. And then other ones just keep going for days. So I'm like, yeah, two, two of the four bearings need to be watched. So I'll just clean them out and uh, re-lube them. Because everyone needs lube in their life. Silver and 32. All right. Oh, Tedesco. I think someone mentioned that to me. Oh, hang on. So is that the one with the, the pictures or like the the actual bikes? Uh, like the orange bikes? And I was and I, was, I talked about it because it was like teaching you how to do them. Was that the one? Because if it was, I was just about to say to you, Oh, cool, man. I'm sorry I don't remember it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I actually do remember that one, dude. That was awesome. Dude, that was yours. Well done. GG's. Can uh, my favorite rugby league player get some GG's in the chat? Tedesco's orange uh, track. Let us know. Remind everybody the track name and they can go check it out, dude. This felt like the right way to get airtime. Oh. Oh wow, this is... How do you get 32 seconds of airtime here? Oh, through this. No. Oh wow, alright. Friendly grab training, wow. I uh, probably could have figured that out myself.
Alright, so airtime is the big thing right now. So even that little hop there got me an extra second. That would have been all the difference. That's a lot of airtime to get, by the way. See, that's still too much. This is not giving me three seconds. to grind up. I'm going to have to grind out a little bit somewhere. I end up with loads of time, so I should be fine. I feel like going down that bottom path, bouncing off there. I feel like they're all better strategies. Get air time. So is this upper path here. Try to get myself another little second there. Oh, there we go. Cool. That was all I needed. Yeah, I know I could do randoms, but something like that makes a bit more sense to me. That made sense. All right, I need another beverage. Uh, wow, it's midnight already. I'll be back. And I just go in and Mini Shady is still playing video games. And it is midnight and he is 10. So I did the dead thing and said get to bed. But it's school holidays and it's a Friday night. So you can sleep in tomorrow. Uh, Daddy goes to the skate park and he will sleep in. And I'll go and play, a, play on a kid's toy. Uh, well, he acts like the grown up. Oh, nice boots. Wow, I'm actually making some progress here. This has actually been good motivation to get rid of some of these uh, contracts. It's good. So, who's doing anything fun on the weekend? Apart from me watching the 49ers beat the Vikings. That's happening. That's so bad. I don't want it to happen so bad. McFly! What am I doing? Back. 14? What? Seriously? I 
could have been one or two. Can I squeeze two in there? No. I lost one or two. So that was a good opportunity for me to get the wheelie. Oh no, I forgot. Okay, so the backflips isn't as hard as I thought. The wheelie might be. See? That's the hard thing, trying to do wheelies and backflips at the same time. It's a front flip, Shady. Good, actually, I don't need to rush. I just need to nail this. Oh, dirt, oh, dirt mite. Dude. Yeah. I, oh, God, to, to be in too nice, dirt mite. All right, no, yeah, man, good luck. I mean, good luck. And it's weird, but the game that I sense most 49ers fans are scared about if we make it through this one is to have to play you guys again so i'm like i really wish you nothing but success except that i mean whatever i yeah you don't you don't you don't want to win and feel like you kind of you know got given it so whatever if you gotta if you're gonna win a super bowl you gotta earn it so it's all good but geez like i'm excited man i'm crazy excited and you guys what beat the eagles last week it's been weird. I actually had a week off football. I didn't even. I, actually, I watched. I watched all the game, the wild card games. But all right, a few left. This one feels easier. It's actually cool for me too, that might because I get it's eight thirty in the morning on Sunday for me. So I can watch it live, like it's not a stupid time or anything. I can just like wake up, like I don't even have to set my alarm. I just sort of wake up and then football's on. But I'm really frustrated because two of my good mates, uh, one's a 49ers fan, one's a Vikings fan, and neither of them can come to my house to watch the game. Like they're not available, they've got other commitments. Like, dude just oh, I've got to be silver bullet too okay Okay. Wheelie feels like it's going just fine. Like it shouldn't be a pro oh, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, the fire is an issue. Oh. We're having too many faults we'll get silver bullet. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> Broncos! That's unfortunate, Franklin. You're in Patriots territory. Well, that's good. I mean, I, I kind of want... Could you, could you just get it? Like, can I send you like a 49ers hat and you just wear it around Patriots territory all the time? 
So do they show all the playoff games in Australia? Nah, man. Nah, I gotta pay for Game Pass, dude. Five seconds inverted. See, that, that feels like a reasonable thing. And I was even saying to my wife, like, I'd love to be able to go to, like, a bar, and, but, like, again, 8, eight o'clock in the morning. But no one even play, like, no one even play, no one care here. It was funny, after the Saints game, me and a mate, like, we watched, that was, like, 48 to 46 in the Superdome, whatever it is. Like, epic win. Oh, stoppies. So while on fire, I've got to do a stoppy. Oh, I mean, can't, it, oh, what? Oh, sorry, this has just dawned on me. I've got to beat somebody while doing fire. Inverted airtime, not a big deal, but 30 minutes of stoppies. Wow. So what I need to do is find like this stuff. Do that. Just pretty much lead lead with my front wheel on any downhill sections. Or just roll into things like this. But because I'm on fire, you don't often have the luxury. And then I'm going to forget the inverted airtime if I am not careful. What a horrible contract. This is like full-on strategy. Let's just get inverted air time done. Oh. You saw it just happen, right? Inverted air time was done. All right, so interestingly, I've got a good amount of time on Silver Bullet. How is that not inverted air time? Alright. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Okay, just need a small stop, which I just got. Come on, silver bullet, I don't want to do this again. This one had a lot going on. That was a lot. Yeah, thankfully that was easy. <laughs> I love how Big Worm's the only one playing the drinking game. But still keeping me honest. Love it. Um, yeah, so I became a Niners fan because of well so jared hayne 2015 season aussie guy goes over to play nfl first time just about ever the 49ers person went over and played like a like a, an offensive skill position not special teams not a punter not a kicker not a lineman i think we might have we had some bits and pieces but yeah we haven't had many aussies play in the nfl so because of that, I um yeah I started paying attention to the team. I, I wasn't a fan of Jared Hayne or anything. It was just that it was an Aussie connection. I loved American football. I played linebacker. And that's why I always wear fifties on my jerseys. But I played linebacker here for many many years. I didn't even know what the contract is. Um, so I always loved the sport, but never had a reason to follow a team. And after a season of watching all that stuff, Jared Hayne leaves, and I'm like, dude, I'm a 49ers fan. So that was kind of it. He made, he, made, he made the full squad. He technically started a game. So... Yeah, it wasn't a big career, but honestly, to be able to have never played a snap in your life and to make a 53-man roster is incredible. I might do this again. 
So, I'm going to keep talking about skateboarding in 49ers because that's kind of who I am. Oh, it never works. Uh, American football, common sport in Australia. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's actually frowned upon, at least when I was doing it, because they're like, I mean, because when we play football, we don't wear pads, dude. So, yeah, everyone, that's, that's kind of, you almost look at it as if you're soft. Now, I, I know the reality of that. It is one of the most violent sports you can play. But, um, yeah, it's not quite, not quite rugby league. But yeah, we've got, you know, we've got a, you know, every, every, pretty much every state has a league. There's a, I, like I played for the state squad, the New South Wales team. And I traveled, so I actually traveled to the U.S. in 2000. Uh, played on the state team three weeks, two or through the U.S. A couple of weeks through Texas, a week through San Francisco, which is kind of cool. Just, uh, you know, scrimmages, a couple of games, um, stuff like that. But um, yeah. So yeah, I always loved the sport, just never got into the NFL until recently. Bye, Franklin. But dude, Aussies will play anything. Man, we love our sports. Duke of Dirty's here. How you doing, man? The remixer. Yeah, it's funny. I've actually still got the newspaper clipping from the uh, the team we played in, oh, what was it? Oh, was it um, Southwestern Assemblies of God University? If anyone can look up SAGU and tell me anything about SAGU. Zesty! Dude. Oh, I was meant to do backflips. Um, but yeah, so we played against SAGU and uh, there's a newspaper clipping from like the local paper, wherever that was in Texas and it was hilarious because we were written up as like the Australian All-Stars and I mean technically we were we were like at least for the under 21s league that we had we were like the you know the best players from each team All-Star style but we travelled with a squad of I think 22 people in total and one was oh no one got injured in this oh no one got injured in the first game I made of mine so we had 21 people on the sideline. They had a full, full complement of a college team, even though it was a lower division. We got destroyed. Like 28 zip. But whatever, it was fun. Dude, brown boxes is done. Oh, why am I still flipping? What? What did I miss on the contract? Damn it. Sorry. I mean, drink. Oh, struggle. Can I have waffles? Send them my way. That was a cheeky one. That was a cheeky one. So was that technically. Oh. Okay. I don't remember the track, but we're close. We're close. Ah, this is a tough... I do remember this one now. Because the actual time is tough. Oh, and you've got to catch up with them, that's why. They get a head start.
Duke of Dirty, if you have to say that, you already know you've uh, made a controversial decision. Now, I love you, but I reserve the right to criticize you a lot. Alright. And it'll come from a positive place, and I'll still upvote your track. But if you feel like you've got to say that, I might not like it. But I think I've said this before, they're, they're remixes, so you get to, you know, it's, it's your creative vision for what they could have been, not what my nostalgia says they should be. So, I get it. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Ooh, that was close. All right, we done. Let's go. I just don't remember the track, but cool. You can drop down there, can't you? Yeah. Damn it, so I've got to hit that. But no, this, is, this should be okay. Whew. Dude, if you love it, go for it. If there's just an annoying horn all the time, or if there's like laser beams and stuff, I might not be happy. And if I'm gonna like trigger someone's epilepsy, then you know you got a problem. <laughs> That's a good question. Is the brown box is brown? Eh, contrast is fine. Maybe. Let me see it. <sighs> My last one. This is actually good. I've actually made a meaningful dent on getting rid of some of these contracts. I'll go back into my stats in a second. I don't know how many contracts there are. Potatoes or zucchini? On what? I don't know if we're having pancakes or waffles. And why would you put zucchini on either of them? Or, or potato. You're weird. Box. Brown boxes are brown. Good. That's positive. So it's just airtime and speed. And only 20 seconds of airtime. That feels like this should be easy. Oops. Time might be a problem if I fault. We'll see. Nope. Yep, time's going to be a problem, maybe. That's right. Easy faults to fix for next time, so... Wow. Alright, well that's 15 seconds so far. Of, like, fault time. In addition to the actual delays caused, so... If I'm off by 15, 20 seconds, you know why. God, I'm an idiot. So it was airtime. I had 17 seconds airtime and I just finished the track. Okay, so basically nothing is a problem. You should just focus on airtime. This one? Potato pancakes are great. I mean, potatoes are the most versatile food. I agree with that, but yeah. Oh, what? 
Oh, so more unlock once you start. Yeah, sorry. Oh, so I was going to be like finishing up. How many? All right, do this one and then let's see if there's any more. Can Koala swim? I mean, this isn't Google. Look it up yourself. I had to find out if there's any monkeys in Australia. There isn't. Alright, what am I going to do? Wheelies. I like wheelies, because you tend to do a lot of them just trying to go fast. Like, up uphills are quite easy. Like, little bursts up there. Oop. Like, little sections like that. You kind of, just by accident, do, like, a lot of wheelies. Dude, I got 40, though? Shit, I just realized how much... Alright, that is a little more than I can just casually do as part of a run. Maybe not. Oh. Oh. Wow, that was easy. Celebrity. High five. Aren't people technically monkeys? No, that's not how it technically works. Yeah. GG, easy, Julie. Agreed. So what I think is far more interesting about the evolution of mammals Fantastic. is the fact that whales, whale fins have the same bones that our hands have. That's weird. Sean, congratulations on the graduation. I'm going to spin the hat for you six times. I think I lost count, but I can't be sure. I think it was okay. You have a loose thread in your left shoulder. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, if I do, there's a very small one there. Made you look. Well, that's fair. My jersey, man. You gotta keep these things clean. You gotta keep them fresh. <gasps> Have I done it? I've done it. Ah, oh, so I got rid of all those contracts. So it's gonna look heaps cleaner now. Oh, no. <laughs> but look. Oh, so Fox Dude's back? I thought I got rid of him. <sighs> there is no way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tedesco's got this. You understand the whole phalanges. There's a word for you. Thought I was really smart because I knew what the distal interphalangeal inter joint is. Zesty! With the little yellow shady hoodies. Yellow shady hoodies, if you got them, you're early, man. We're not even raiding yet. Uh, struggle. We gave him a bad name, mind you. They did, didn't they? Kill one of the, the, the sort of uh, one of the carers in San Diego. So, so ten backflips. time as well. I wasn't trying to do that, but it worked out pretty well. Oh, and that was a mistake too, because I was looking ahead, but it so far worked out pretty well. That should have been a backflip. Oh, what?
should have got one backflip in though, Shady. She only need 10 though, so Fantastic. it's not that bad. Whew. Hang on. Zesty! Congratulations on the graduation. You get a spin. Everyone like gets it. a spin. And struggle! Did I answer? Is, is that is that your your kind of conditions? You're like, listen, I'm gonna ask a bunch of random questions, and if the dude answers my questions, I give him a follow. That's fair. I mean, I feel like I worked for it. Got four seconds to finish. The, damn it! Questions are fun. I mean, yeah. That's for other people to determine. I ain't saying that. I think I make a living from asking questions, so we're good. Oh, my face. Can you do a backflip from a standing start? Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Is that on the last checkpoint? I did like four Any backflips. Damn. I'm going to try and do a double here. Oh, man. Close. Really, Duke of Dirty? When I'm trying to get some sleep, you're going to release that now? Alright, let me get this contract. Then we're going to play Duke of Dirty's track. Because <clears throat> I think he just enjoys the power of not letting me go to sleep when it's after midnight already. That should have been a double. Zesty, you like the overhang tutorial? Cool, man. Go Niners. Go Niners Frisco. Thanks for hanging out, dude.
Well, Zesty, I mean, I can make a stationary tutorial track. Because it'd just be like a flat... <laughs> I should do that. A stationary tutorial track. But it's just a track with like a flat section. And be like, yeah, that's where you practice. What do you mean, Tedesco? Is in like making like tutorials like that? Tedesco, try and guess how many times you think I've tried to do that. And not, not talking donut specifically, but I've spoken to a number of people. Like, I've lost track of who, I've lost track of how many times, but I've made that many offers to people that said, if you want to do ninja tutorials, if you want to do them on your channel, I will promote them. If you want to do them on my channel, I will host them. I gave Oso a whole bunch of like artwork and stuff and unfortunately man and I don't think people realize necessarily but like tutorials take a lot of time and there's very little in it for you so you've got to really love it and while people are I mean this community is amazing and full of awesome creators it's just not something that I think a lot of people are yeah just as uniquely passionate about as I am and unfortunately I don't have the skill to be I guess equipped to do what I do and these days I'm not even spending the time doing it so yeah look if you find someone out there that wants to do it um, yeah I will absolutely support and like I said host and whatever else I can do to help out Okay, so from here, this should be a easy. So I've already done the flips. Oh. No, don't know why I was uh, struggling with that so much. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, I've spoken and done it before. I mean, you know, we we got a good relationship, so. I mean, ask him. I mean, our time zones suck, so it's kind of hard for us to talk too much. I mean, he tried to get me on podcast, and it, oh, like, yeah, and it became impossible to try and do that, uh, just with time zones and whatnot. So, yeah, look, e even if, look if, if Donut, I mean, yeah, I can talk to him myself. But even if Donut wants to put a, you know, to just take a segment out of his stream and say, okay, for this, you know, this time stamp to this time stamp, take that clip and put that up as a ninja tutorial. Happy, I'd happily host it. If he wants me to, or if he wants to have a channel and I can link to it, whatever. Uh, okay, before I go to Track Central, how many contracts are there in the game? I still feel like that's like, God, 357, I feel like I've done more. I feel like I've done more. Anywho, all right, Track Central, and then I gotta get some sleep. I'm getting tired. Out of beverage. Uh, what do we just? Uh, what, what's your Duke? What's your tag thingy? I'll just search. Tell me to answer the question. I'm bored of your questions. Brown boxes.
Brown boxes. I mean, it's 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 my my answer is in the track name. Well, wow. ooh, that came out wrong. Boxes, not the brown. Brown, <laughs> brown boxes in the context of this question is very different. Kids, that's not. Oh, Duke. Dude. Oh, Duke. I want to love this so much. Your desire to put your name front of screen has put you directly in front of the entire writer's body as the game starts and I do not like that at all I have a huge amount of respect for you you're awesome that's like cardinal sin broken rule 101 stuff don't do it See, I love your tracks because I already know how to ride them because... Oops. Yeah. Dude, the lighting... Oh, the lighting I'm fine with, the particle effects is kind of weird. Um, but the track... The driving line is awesome. Yeah, driving line is awesome. Um, sorry, my hat is falling off my head. Driving line is awesome. Light and contrast, I'm fine with. Particle effects... See, what, what I like is something that... You've even got the difficulty right. Like, like, th like this is supposed to be a real annoying checkpoint. So help me understand, why is the paper floating around? I mean, I see the fans there, but what's the... <sighs> like, I just want there to be a story. And I ask for too much, but I expect perfection. I expect, like, I don't know. Like, is there any reason why there's, pa like, paper going through the air? A dirty remix, is that? Did you type that with letters yourself? That's cool. Oh, it's now abandoned. Okay. And that's why the lights are out and stuff. Yeah, dude, I mean, it's it's perfect. Like, so how, how do you get the driving lines as sort of legit as they are? Oops. Didn't mean to hit break there. Oh. Dude, another awesome track. Well, construction lights. Yeah, okay. And banish the abandoned track. Okay. I do like it. Yeah, I think, honestly, um, the checkpoints are oversized and in front of the driving line. Some of them don't matter as much. But, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Just getting in the way of the driver. And, like, getting in the way of the bike. It, it doesn't impact the riding at all. But yeah, that's that's not something I'm a fan of. Otherwise, no, the light and everything. No, no the, that that story makes sense. But I probably would have toned down the particle stuff a little. But otherwise, mate, exactly what I've ex what I expect from you. It's awesome.
you know I'm gonna have to keep running this to get a half decent speed run time. Hey, one perp, what's going on? Why aren't we talking about 49ers? I mean, you want to, let's go. Um. That's cool, Duke. Like, I'm, I'm glad you're doing it because it, it introduces it introduces a whole new group of people to like like iconic driving lines and these are very much true to it's hard to do with different bikes and different physics to make them ride the same Damn it. Ooh, that rides a little different from HD, I guess. Oh, so you started, Duke, you started on the Gold Edition, did you? HD was definitely what, what made me fall in love. And so like why I, I appreciate these so much. Because, yeah, HD is where I got started for sure. Ah, oh, but that's perfect. Like, that's frustrating. But that is absolutely what the game did to you. It didn't care if you had got a good start. crazy was track central on hd for, for those who don't know track central on hd didn't exist so what you had to do was and it was and i think if you ever get the the devs to talk or find something about how they did it but you effectively had enough memory on like your xbox account to store like bear in mind the track track levels are literally kilobytes even today a track level file will be like uh, kilobytes in data. Like they're tiny. Um, it's actually really impressive how they store them. Um, and you used to be able to share seven, and just because they sort of exploited the memory that was available on the game, you could share seven tracks at a time. So if you wanted to play an awesome track, you had to know the person that had it. And be friends with them and then xbox live only allowed you to have a friends limit of 100 people so there was a whole bunch of like really good track creators 
So we're like having to clean out their friends list and and I'm pretty sure you could you could have like a USB stick or something back in the day that lets you have here it is, hold on. Oh, okay, I gotta practice this again. Hmm. Hey, struggle. I will say, if no, if no one's el no one else is answering, you may just wanna leave your questions alone. Crazy concept, I know. Um, but yeah, having having to find friends and stuff to share tracks with and all the rest of it made it very very tricky to really enjoy custom creations. Oh, if people are well known. If people are answering questions, then keep going, I guess. I'm trying to actually get a clean ish zero fault run on this track. Because I just realized I'm going to be one of. one of the first people to play this track. It's like, wouldn't it be cool to set a half-decent time? But this doesn't feel half-decent at all. <sighs> but I mean, Duke, this is what it's all about, right? Putting a bunch of work into something and seeing someone enjoy it. The elusive first person player track world record? Nah. I forgot. This is a, a very technical kind of track. down a little bit longer. Oh, I hate this track already. Oh, what's your what's your PB on it, Duke? like exactly the line you'd ride when riding this, by the way. Wow, I choked the ending, but whatever. Whatever, I'm taking that. I'll take a 37 on diamond. Ooh. Greatest trials rider in the world. Oh, let's screenshot. That's going to be a thumbnail. Mm, 
Yeah. Yeah. World record by 30 seconds. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you suck to be slippery, Ryan. <laughs> oh, I want to play it again. <laughs> I genuinely want to play it again. But this is the thing. I, I, I know how to write it because... And again, I, I didn't do well. Oh, God. I didn't do well at all because... I, I left loads of time on the track there. So this is a sub... I mean, weirdly, I reckon this is sub 30 seconds. Yeah. A smooth, good run on this is sub 30, which is nuts to think about. It. that because it was because like there's a there's a hop there and to go over that quickly too yeah you can beat it now slippery i don't care i've got the screenshot <laughs> yeah that's fair being generous but i mean it's fine like I don't, I don't think i don't think the metals need to be like excessively hard or anything to make it a good track like it's fun Like, I guess, yeah, you're diamond times, maybe, but whatever. For track central stuff, to me, di like, metal times aren't as important. <sighs> nice checkpoint, though. Later, Zesty! Oh, to uh, Tedesco, sorry. Tedesco's gone. Ah, uh, Nukovic! Nukovic! This is weird. When are you putting this on YouTube? Jabaki. 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 There you go. Wacky Jubaki, that's what I call you. Uh, when am I putting on YouTube? Uh, 24 hours after I finish the stream. So probably, oh, I don't know, 24 hours from now? If I remember to upload it. There's a football game happening on Sunday, so I might just stop caring about YouTube for a little bit. Oh, wow. Chief Peef, huge Rams fan. Uh, best of luck in the playoffs. I think you guys have a really good chance to Super Bowl, dude. I, I really hope so. And thank you so much, man. Um, dude, I have only ever been to one NFL game in my entire life. 49ers Rams. So I've seen you guys play at uh, Levi Stadium week seven last year. You beat us like... You scored like 39 points on us and you had our... Backup quarterback. So it wasn't fun. I paid a lot of money to get there. <laughs> Wacky Jubaki used to watch on YouTube. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, this is quite late for me. I usually don't stream this early into the morning. It's like 1 a.m. here. I usually try and sleep a little bit more like a 38 year old man than I am. I think I'm improving my world record yet. Like I know I can, but it's a it's a fiddly little track. I like that. Ugh. 
All right, I'm done. It's fair. The shiny pants are pretty comfy, but... All right. Oh, dude, oh, see, man, I just looked and I was like, there are like 80 people here. Really? Can you guys all like just shift to like my time zone when it's like sensible for me to be streaming? I have like a wife and kids and a life and all the rest of it. And I can't be streaming at one o'clock in the morning. And num like more people get here now. I mean, like wacky jabacky, right? Like I'm excited that you get to see me in this interaction as opposed to the YouTube interaction. Because I probably never said wacky jabacky and it's fun to say. I think everybody should say that at least once a day just for laughs. But I have to go to bed. Because I'm a human. And I have skateboarding in the morning. So, I'm out of here. Let's go and give someone a raid, though. Let's go and find some cool person to go raid, though. Let's have a look. Who have we got? Italian. Fr oh, French dude playing my stuff. Actually, hang on one second. Am I going to get an ad? Look. Can I stream someone else? Look, they're playing my track. But they're French. Like... So like, I, don't, like what? I just gotta say bonjour. That's all I can say. Bonjour. That's cool, right? Like, like this is this is a cool moment. Like this. Bonjour. bonjour uni. Bonjour uni. Yes, we did it. We've made a connection. A French connection. But I don't know what else they're saying. But it's like, it's me. It's like, hi. I made that. Oh, we could have listened. If, oh, man. We could have listened to me. I wish I wish they redubbed my me in French. That'd be cool. You need a fan de trial. I don't know any French words. Where are my French people at to help me translate? <laughs> Is there anyone in here that can speak French? Actually, that'd be really cool because I just said yes. <laughs> I don't know what this say. <laughs> Oh, I wish there was someone that could speak French. Omelette. 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 That's not... Man. And I want to go raid him. See, it's like literally... Oh, man. So this is a cool moment. Like, I've done this from time to time and I've... You have French? Tell me what they're saying. I'll shut up. Or can you go into their chat? Here. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go raid him. Let's go read them, and someone can talk French and tell them that I was here. You know what? Screw it. They're playing trials. Let's spread the love. They're playing trials. Let's spread the love. Shh. I'm out of here. Thank you so much. It's fun to do this. I don't care. Sorry, I'm not watching there. What have I done? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I don't know how. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in chat, and let's go hang out with French dudes. And uh, don't be offensive or nice, because I don't know what I don't know French words. Be respectful, but go give them a follow. Who cares? It's trials. Bye.